Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to work with the with the project, just creating the project and work with the authentication system for the users, uh, login, sign up, password reset, etc. Luckily, we have done this before, so we don't know we don't need to rewrite or reinvent the wheel again. We're just going to merge that part of that part to this project. For those who don't know, what I'm talking about, I did a video series explaining all of this part of the authentication system. You can just jump to that playlist if you want, or just take a look uh, at the code of GitHub. I will give, I will leave a, I will leave a link in the description below. Sorry. So yeah, let's just open the terminal. Um, I will just go to this folder where I have like. And then I'm just going to create my environment. Just type this and like the name of your environment. Um, I'll just name it Instagram clone. It will take a few seconds. Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, let's go in inside the folder oops okay now we need to activate the environment script activate okay it's activated let's just now let's just install Django of course we install Django for this tutorial series, series I'm using the 3.0. So yeah, I just install that one. Okay. While this is installing, let's go to my GitHub. Um, oops. Here we are going to download the what I'm the authentication system for my previous video, this one. Okay, we're going to download, um, oh man, I don't think it's this one, let me see. Oh yes, it's this one. But, uh, we need to change the, yeah, you just click here, auth. This is the new version you need to, yeah, let's just download this. This, um, Code, download app, zip. Remember to change the branch to auth. This is the branch that we're using. Okay. Okay. Um. Here we go. Let's get this one. Um. Yep. Let's put it here. Yeah, let's just put it here. Okay. Okay, we just installed it. Oh, let me. Let me upgrade pip. Okay. Use the mouse. Okay, we have. Okay, now we need to create the Django project. Type Django admin, start project. I will name it Instagram clone. Here, good. So now let's go inside the folder. Good, okay. Um, Oops. Now we need to create a new app. Django admin star app. I'll name it Audi, like the previous one. Boom. This is for the authentication system. Remember, you need to you need to create the app here first inside. Okay? Don't just like uh like copy the whole thing the the jungle doesn't like that so okay strat 
let's delete that. Now let's copy um let's copy all of these. Okay, copy. And then I just paste it in this app. Yes. I know of course there is a better way to do that, I just did it that way, so yeah. Okay, now we need to copy the team templates. Um, which ones? Registration. I actually need to pass those ones here. But yeah. Anyway, let's do that later. Okay, change password and login and what else? Sign up. Yes, login, change password, change password, and registration. Just copy this. Go to here, here, and now here in our project, let's create a new folder. Um, let's name it templates. Oops, templates. Just paste all of these here. Boom. Here we go. Boom. Now that we're here, let's copy. Um, let's create a new folder Its name is static okay in this folder let's create a new one CSS um, and then ing for the pictures what else okay JavaScript we don't need JavaScript let's just create one JavaScript for just in case okay um we have the static, the templates, and now let's copy our templates that we did before, our like mockup. Let's move, let's copy all of these. Oops. Let's go again. Let's paste it here. Boom. Okay, we have index and la la la. Get it. Now let's copy um, the pictures and the CSS form. Okay. Copy and paste it here in static. Boom. Okay, we have everything ready. We just need to start merging all of those. Okay, um, let's open the project. It's here. It's, yes, here and then here. Boom. I think we need to we can close this. Okay, the project is open. Now um I need to let me increase the okay like that. Okay, um now we just copy everything. Um, let's add the app to the settings. Okay, let's go here. Um, the apps. Okay. Boom. Um, templates. Um, I just remember, like here, we put the us. Uh, Path, oops. Path that join. If you don't remember this, just go to your previous project and you can just copy that. Paste here, comma, and like the project directory where you put the templates. Um, the name is Instagram clone and then slash templates. Templates. Good. Okay, um, okay, good, good. Oh, the static. Yes, um, here, let's go to the uh, start static um, file deers. 
Let's just copy. Oops. I'm lazy. Okay. Static. Boom. Okay. We have the static. Okay, this is a. Oops. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Okay, um, now the media URL. URL. Let's call it media. Boom. And then the media root. Same thing. paste and then just put it like outside just put it like media right okay um yes now we need to set the email backend remember for the registration you can just search it email backend Django just find email Exactly this one. They just copy the console because this is for testing. Copy. Oops. Email. Back in. Oh. Okay. We have the email. Now let's set the login URL. Login URL. Let's call this one index. Then oh, this for the log logout. User login. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah, like we said all of these. So when people like uh, redirect after login, we want them to go to index. That's why we select like this uh, URL name. And when they log out, we want them to go to login. And this is the login URL. Okay. We have everything set up. Um, Let's go to here, the models. We, okay. Okay, so we don't have like the post right now. We just need to comment this. Okay, remember to comment this one. And also we don't have that. Let's just, we can just delete it. Let's just, yeah, comment that one too. Let's save. And now let's run the migrations. Python manage the pipe, make migrations. Oh, we need to start pillow, pip install pillow. Install pillow first. Okay, now let's run migrations. Okay, now migrate. Beautiful, good. Okay, um, now let's work with the templates. Well, first of all, we need to include the URLs from the from this app 
to the man to the project so let's go to the urls here and then type this path um, oh we need to import include first okay let's type path and then the URL, I would just now in this case, I will use, I'm gonna use the user for all the users like uh, URLs. And then here include, oops, audit.urls. Okay, oops, comma here. Let's save that. Okay. Actually, now let's add the media. Now we are here. Let's go. Uh, we need to first. We need to import the from Django.config import settings and from Django.config URLs. Oops. dot static okay import static okay good now type static and settings dot media media url document root equals settings dot media good um, okay yeah that should work um, save okay let's see now um, let's work with the templates right um, remember that these oops, these templates are from the previous projects so they, they won't match with these ones let's just start and create a new file this one I will name it um, base.html remember we create like a root and then we carry like branches from there okay we have the base html let's, let's open the index that basically has like our like full design let's just copy all of that and I paste it here. Good, 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 good. Okay. The first thing that we need to do, we need to up here. Let's use the oh, this template tag and like call load static. Okay. And this is the nav bar. Good, good, good. Uh, this is the URL for the picture. We need to change that. Um, oh, actually we need to start with the CSS. Okay. So here, um, oops, we open this one. Static. it pretty simple that's it let's do the same with all of these let's just copy copy not for that one um, we have uh, we did like we created one I don't think so let's create a new file let's name it style.css okay so we created that one just in case we want to like modify our design a little bit. Let's just copy the whole thing. You don't need to do that, okay? So boom. Okay, um, the same for the pictures. Paste. Mm -hmm. 
boom. Good, we have the picture. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. What else? Um, okay. Um, let's just remove all, all of these. Starting from the... This is the... Let me see. This is the nap. This is the container. This is... Yeah, let's start from here. Let's just leave the container. Okay. Let me see. This close. Okay, this closes here. So let's just copy this. Let's delete that one. Let's see. Yes, yes. Okay, go down. Okay, now we create um, a new block. Let's call it block content. And then end block. Okay. Um, we will probably have a pagination, so let's just new one. Here, pagination, boom, perfect, let's save that. Okay, we have our base HTML file. So we now, we can, we can start by creating the, modif sorry, modifying the templates for the logging index and etc. cetera. Um, I will stop it right now. I will stop this video here and in the next video we're going to work with that. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.